What's going on guys, we're on or Phase Rain coming at you guys with a brand new video. Let's kick the water bottle over, god damn it. Just got home from Vegas. I am so tired. I have been, I only slept on the Uber back. We Ubered actually back from Vegas because last night was literally hell. Um, it was like one of the crazy experiences of my life. It was, it was a trippy day. So we actually literally Ubered home. We literally just got in our hotel room. We just called an Uber and we came all the way back here. But I slept on that, so that was like a three and a half hour drive. And that went by literally instantly. I slept through the whole like drive. It literally was like a five minute drive. Like literally, I love that. I always kill time with like airplanes and like long drives and everything. I just sleep. It's teleportation, little life hack. That's Phase Rain teaching you a lesson. But anyways. So last night we went to EDC. Like the first night, I've only gone for I only went on the two nights. I went on Friday night and I went Saturday night. So Friday night was EDC. Lit. Trap hard. Great night. 10 out of 10. It, it, Alex got lost at the end of that. Some shit happened. That sucked, but we all figured it out. Cause EDC is so big and it's like really easy to get lost and it's really easy to not know what you're doing. Like seriously, it's really easy for that to happen. But you know what? We made night one. It was awesome. And then we just wanted to move on and have night two. I was honestly just gonna go night one and then I was gonna come back the next day, but then I had so much fun the first night. So I really just wanted to have like a second second night to enjoy with the bros. One more night, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have one more night with the guys and honestly, kind of a big mistake because we only got to like trap out for 30 minutes before everything went to shit. So when we got there, we had like the VIP passes, right? But I, some of our friends didn't have the VIP passes. So I didn't go in the VIP lane. I went like to the regular general admission lane and I went with like, just to, you know, stick with the smaller squad just so that no one gets lost or anything. Like a lot, like Banks and Lucas and Roman, they all went VIP, but the mean Alex and Lucas, but then like mean Alex and Nikon and like our bros, we all just went to the the regular general admission and there it's a little bit more crowded like in VIP it's like you have more room like I have room to like hop around you know but like then in the regular general admission you're almost like shoulder to shoulder like if I jump honestly like I was jumping a lot so like I was bumping into people a little bit sorry but they're bumping into me it's fine it's chill it's fine we're chill we're friends I love you. so then some bad shit happened and that's what started hell like that was me pretty much opening the gates of hell I'm an idiot okay so please take this from me if you ever go to EC or any festival like that don't bring your wall Bring what you need. If you need to bring one debit card and then one ID piece, do that. But don't bring your whole wallet. <sighs> It sucks, man. Like I even told myself I'm not gonna bring my wallet, but I still did, and I didn't even need it. I have, I had like a wristband that said I was 21, so I was chilling. I didn't even, I didn't need a debit card, but I still brought it. But the reason I brought it is because I have these, like these are the same shorts that I wore yesterday. Like I'm literally wearing what I wore yesterday, except for this shirt. I just threw mine into the crowd or so. But literally, like I had a zipper, right? So I had zippers here and here, so I knew my phone and my wallet were chilling, and I could feel them because these shorts, like I can feel when like. I put my hand in there, like so it's kind of like touching my thigh, you know what I mean? So I could feel everything. So we're trapping out for 30 minutes, and then we decided to just get out of general admission because it was just honestly so like it was so crowded. We're just gonna go try to meet up with the rest of the guys. So me, Nikon, and just everyone else, we formed like this like seven, eight man train. You know how like middle school kids do when they go on a field trip, pretty much like that. And we all form a line and we start going. And I'm a very observant person. Is that a fucking word? I don't know. I'm a very like I'm like always on point. Honestly, like, I always have my guard up. I'm always like looking around. Like I'm always just this how. I am. I'm always like touching around, feeling, and make sure I have everything. So I will notice. Like I've actually always said, like, how do people get pickpocketed? It's like, come on, like, don't let that shit happen. Be hella aware. But I did. You know what I mean? But like, it was just he caught me on a bad time, and I noticed immediately. And it's crazy because I still feel. Like I still remember the feeling of it happening. Like I still like feel, and I don't want to feel that because it's like it just sounds so crazy. And I don't even want to like try to relate to it, but it feels like kind of rapey. Like I know that I didn't get raped. Obviously, nothing like that. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to desensitize the subject or anything. But I'm saying like I just feel so violated. I truly do because like I felt that dude's hand in my pocket, pulling my wallet out, and like my pants getting zippered. Like while I was in like a train, just trying to like get at all these like drunk people and moving with us, and this you know I like I was focused on this helping everyone like just get to where we needed to go. And then a fucking this dude steals my wallet, and I stop. I'm like my fucking wallet. Like who the fuck? Took my wallet. I turn around, there's this big fucking chubby fucker, and like I'm pretty sure, I'm like 80% sure it was him, like this big ass dude. And I'm like, do you have my fucking wallet? And then he just like had his hand in his shirt, but I, I didn't even like, you know that Krusty Krab theme? Like that, that meme meme? Like where, I said meme meme, holy shit, meme, where um he's like shook, he's like hella shook, it's like whoa, and it's fucking like vibrations and shit around. So that's literally me, I swear to God, because like it's so loud, it's so bassy. Like I drank a little bit, but I wasn't like too fucked up or anything, I was fine. But like, so I was like aware, you know what I mean? I wasn't like out of it or anything. And I felt this dude's fucking to steal my wallet. And I like, mm, I like freaked out, bro. That shit ruined my night immediately. And dude, how are you gonna steal from me, doc? How are you gonna steal from me? What the hell I do to you? I would, like, dude, how are you gonna steal? Thieves are so shitty. Why? So, you know, it is what it is. I'm happy. I'm, I'm fine. It's whatever. I cancel all my cards, suck my balls. A little bit, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit bummed because my Costco card was in there. Um, you know, I'm an executive member and, uh, 
don't have that no more. So that sucks. I lost my ID, all my bank cards, everything, but you know, everything's canceled, so it's all good. Whatever, enjoy the $22 in the Louis wallet. It's gonna suck, because now I have to go to the DMV and get a new license. So, you know, I hope karma gets you back. I truly do. I hope you go to jail, and you get avocado from Prison Break as a roommate. And he has his way with you. I truly do. I truly, truly do. But anyways, I just want to talk to you guys about that because that was literally the craziest thing ever. Like the thing is, immediately after that happened, like 10 out of 10 bad stuff happened, like really, really bad. Um, not for YouTube though, unfortunately. It's still a little bit too savage for YouTube. Very bad though. <laughs> but we're all good. We're all healthy. We're all safe. We're chilling. But some bad stuff happened. Not with me, but like, you know. Shit. I just I just wanted to get me and my boys and we just wanted to come home. Roman and Nikon wanted to stay and everything. Rice Gum was actually gonna come with us, but he decided to stay too. He was like so tired. But me and Alex and Lucas, we decided, you know, let's just get out of here. Let's just go home. This has been too crazy. And Vegas was a crazy trip. So pretty much moral of the story, guys. Um, if you go to EDC or any kind of festival where like there's people, there's bad people out there. Okay, so you need to understand that. There's a lot of bad people out there who wanna take shit for you. Cause why? Because they fucking suck. I don't know. That's just my reason for it. It shit happens for a reason. It is what it is. People do things. I'm not like upset too much about it. It just like sucks, man. Like it sucks to get stolen from. You know what I mean? That's like, that's not cool. I make this video because it's still fresh in my mind and I wanted to talk about it to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. It has been your boy, Norn Shat or Faze Rain. Happy Father's Day to all the dads watching. If you're not a dad, you're probably a future dad. So happy Father's Day from past Faze Rain. I appreciate you. Be a good dad. Don't drink and drive. Stay in school. Keep it real. That's the one.